coming on to what all are the subjects in CPA, sir. Sir, I have done BCom, sir. Sir, I have done IPCC, sir. Sir, I have my qualified chartered accountant, sir. There can be various, of course, you know, qualifications that you may come along with. CPA only wants you to clear four exams. One is business environment and concept, which is nothing but a combination of economics, costing, and somewhat financial management, along with some bit of IT into it. Just to give you the color in terms of, you know, what this really looks like. Now, if you really switch on the gears and move on to the FAR, which is the second subject, the financial accounting and reporting, that effectively deals with the financial accounting and reporting concepts. Nothing but the US gap in terms of what is needed to prepare the set of financial statements and so on and so forth. Like you have financial accounting over here, over there also you have the financial accounting and reporting. The only thing is they would particularly want you to understand the US gap. That's the second subject of, of CPA. We have BC, you know, as the first subject, Financial accounting and reporting as the second subject. Then we have the audit and attestation. The audit is a subject, the you know, the audit. That is again something which is very much familiar to you because you have already done audit in some way or the other. Audit is the third subject that you really need to take on in the CPA curriculum. Now, of course, when you're doing the auditing standards, you have to have to learn what the US auditing standards are all about. And that's what you have to understand and display and demonstrate in the exam. And last but not the least is the regulation. The taxation, my friend, the taxation exam, the regulation exam of CPA, wherein you'll be learning what all are the taxation provisions within the US as a geography. What all you need to know from the standpoint of individual taxation, the corporate taxation, what kind of structures they have, and so on and so forth, is something that we learn in the regulation. Now, these are the four subjects, my friend, that you really need to do in order to qualify as a CPA. Is that, is that clear? Yes, sir. Many of you may have confusions or may need more understanding in relation to these four subjects. Not to worry, man. Just reach out to us. FriendTram is always, always there to help you. You can comment down over here in this video also. We will take it up. Like coming on to, you know, what kind of exam pattern uh, is there in US CPA. Now that's again something which is very much relevant. Many of the students really want to understand that, you know, what is the exam pattern we need to be prepared with when we are hitting the exam in the best possible way. Now, if I really have to give you a, you know, a broader idea to it, and if the exam of US CPA is a computer-based exam, you have to go and sit on the computer and of course start answering that. There is a major portion in this exam that is MCQ based. So of course, different subjects would have different uh, percentage or proportionate of, of MCQs being given over there, but there is a uh, larger uh, share of, of, of your exam that is in the MCQ form, wherein there are four choices being given and you have to click the right one and of course that is the answer. The rest of the portion is, is more of a simulation based kind of a framework wherein you have to understand a case and you have to write things, basis uh, your understanding on that case and of course the questions that are being asked on that case. It is more of a descriptive one wherein you have to understand and write, it, it's more like a subjective thing that you really have to deal in over there. But all in all, the exam is very practical exam. It is not a theoretical one. You really have to understand the nuance and understand what is happening. And then you have to answer that there and then what you would be doing as a CPA when you would get into any particular organization. Is that clear? Yes, sir.